Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the historical sites of Marquette, Michigan. The city of Marquette dates back to 1844 when iron ore was discovered nearby in Ishpeming and Nagani. The city developed as the shipping port for the delivery of iron ore. The ore dock in Marquette's Upper Harbor was built in 1912 and is still active today. Fun fact, during the American Civil War, the bulk of iron ore used by the Union Army came out of the city of Marquette. The Lower Harbor Ore Dock, while no longer in use, is a mammoth concrete and steel structure that serves as a reminder of the city's maritime past and heritage. This picturesque dock is the perfect spot for a photo op when visiting Marquette. The Marquette Harbor Lighthouse is an icon of the city and among the most photographed lighthouses in the Great Lakes. The lighthouse is the oldest significant structure in the city and more importantly, one of the most historic navigation beacons on Lake Superior, which was critical to the development of the Great Lakes iron ore trade. This Marquette beacon was vital to the safe navigation of ships entering Marquette. In the summer of 1891, Frederick Law Olmsted, a landscape architect most famous for his role in designing New York City's Central Park, visited Marquette to work on a design project. Upon touring the land, he gave the city relatively straightforward advice that can be summed up in three words. Don't touch it. Presque Isle Park is one of the most visited sites in Marquette County for good reason. With the ease of access, this 323-acre forested peninsula extends into the water, offering visitors unmatched views of Lake Superior. The most popular spot at Presque Isle Park is easily Black Rocks. While these ancient rock formations are likely most well-known now as a fun cliff jumping spot where you can jump from 10 to 15 feet into clear and cold superior waters, these metamorphosed igneous rocks are actually 1.7 billion years old. For more information about Marquette, visit TravelMarquette.com.